Hello everyone, my name is Brendan Whitaker, but you probably already know that from the name of the channel. And it is currently November 15th, the uh, middle of no, no November, which is where I want to talk about my uh, porn addiction. Now, my first video is, is me coming out about my porn addiction, but I want to further elaborate on it. After the video was uploaded, I currently relapsed back to my old ways, but uh, that's okay. I'm in November now, where I won't let that happen again. At this moment, I'm tired of feeling defeated every time I go in, every time I go in the pit, that pit of despair. And like I've said before, my brain's not the same as it was when I was seven years old. What I mean by that is, uh, when I was seven, I, I was definitely more motivated. I was definitely more uh, focused and uh, a lot more capable mentally. Like I could learn things quicker. Now I'm, uh, my brain's it's like a little more mush, but I'll I'll manage. Since my seven-year-old self was never subjected to uh, things. Well, uh, currently now I, uh, I'm doing fine so far after I'm, uh, getting back on the wagon. I'm doing no fap. I'm not doing that stuff anymore. I got myself a job, currently moving at the house now. So this, uh, this might be gone probably if, if the apartment doesn't have a white wall, then I guess I'll have to kiss that goodbye. Uh, that being said, uh, I get that, uh, for everyone watching this, 2020 was probably the worst year of your life, or one of the worst years, since it has plenty of, uh, fear, quarantine, and politics in it, but, uh, for me, uh, no, not really. You know, in the past, I've felt a lot of misery from, uh, not being able to control myself, and... Now that I am in control more now, thanks to, uh, I guess you could say November and other things, but now, uh, I'm, uh, more in control of myself. I can honestly say, uh, the weeks where I, uh, did not, uh, subject myself to, uh, more addiction was, uh, probably some of the best moments of my life, actually. You know, I could do things. I felt more confident, I didn't feel guilt or shame, and I wasn't scatterbrained like I usually am, like I usually was. And you know, I feel, I, I feel a little bit good about myself, I can honestly say that. So uh, that being said, I have a message for anyone saying this. Uh, quit while you can. It won't help you in the long run, uh, where this masturbating to uh, porn. That's, that's the hard way of saying it, because that's basically what it is, you know, the longer you do it, the harder it will to quit, you know, it's like, uh, it's compulsive, you, you do it more, it's like repetition, you build it in your brain, and you won't be able to beat the habit, so, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter how young you are, the faster you quit, the better, the sooner the better. Maybe it will help you in the long run. And uh, I guess, uh, that being said, this is the last thing I have to say about, uh, certain people who will, uh, tell you otherwise about this. There will be people, uh, who will say, Oh, that's cool, man. Just watch whatever you want, want to watch, you know? Watch what you want to watch. It's it's, it's fine. You no, know, life's too short anyway. The heart wants what the heart wants. And no, it's not it's not it's not that. It's not good at all, you know. You don't you don't find yourself wanting to watch this stuff. It's just like a rabbit hole. You know, the more you go into it, the more hardcore things you find and you feel disgusted about yourself because in the beginning you would have never known you would have watched this stuff, but now here you are watching whatever it is I said in my first video. I'm not going to say it again.
I, I, I confess, I don't have to do it again. But yeah, this, it's not living. Masturbating in a dark room alone to two-year-old videos of women who don't even know you exist is not living at all. And if it were, it would not be good living. You're alone. A feeling of guilt always comes right after you're finished and it never stops because you just can't help yourself. Again, it's built into your brain. You, No one's telling you not to stop. Instead, people are telling you Oh wait, people are telling you to stop. I'm sorry. Again, I'm I'm still a little scattered brain, but it's fine. I'm I'm progressing. Alright, let me try let me try and say it again. It's not like people are telling you to stop, telling you not to stop. They're telling you the complete opposite of it, because either they don't know what you, uh they don't know what you uh, what you're getting into or they just don't care. They don't know how to fix the problems in their lives, so uh, why would they help you? No, it's just like that. It's enablement. You know, enablement fuels nihilism. And nihilism is basically just living in a fantasy land where reality creeps up with you the more and more you do it. No, it's, it's not good. No, if you live in this lust-fueled, lust fueled lust filled fantasy, you'll never be able to experience the things life, the things life and reality has to offer to you. You'll never be able to learn any skills or talents, contribute to whatever community you're in, never have any actual friends who care for you, and you'll never have a woman that would even look remotely close to the women that you uh, subject yourself to on the internet. You know, the more you go into this fantasy land, the more you'll feel, the more you will fear real life, since it is harder. Real life, it's definitely harder, and we all know that. I guess that's one of the reasons why people try and uh, escape with uh, such means. But no, you should learn to adjust yourself to real life, learn how to live in it, and one day you will conquer it. No, oh, I'm I'm doing fine so far. And I can say this for everyone else, you can do fine too. As a matter of fact, you can probably do better since it took me a while to quit. But you 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 can you can be better than me. You can definitely most definitely be better than me. You know there's one thing, two things to take from this. It's to quit as soon as you can and Fear the enablers, because they are basically like your greatest nightmare. They are exactly your greatest nightmare. They don't want to help you.